Right, I've had a few people, at least three, asking me about the equipment that I use. So I thought I'd do this quick video. Let's start with the hot air station, which is the Quick 861DW. I'll put all the links down in the description below. This one is my power supply, bench power supply, if you will. Then on top of that, we've got a glue gun in this wonderful Memorex box. We have, if I can open it one-handed, probably should have opened this beforehand. There it is. It's the Astro AI DT132A multimeter. Behind that, we've got my iFixit toolkit, which to be honest, I don't use as much as I used to. I use this instead, which is the Weera tool roll, and it's got all the little screwdrivers in that I need. I'll show you. Nice. Look at all those bad boys. Okay, what else have we got up here? We've got some isopropyl alcohol. We've got some cotton buds. We've got a magic air blowing thing. We've got some more isopropyl alcohol. We've got some flux brushes. My tweezers. <coughs> Sorry, I just sneezed. My tweezers, some soldering iron tips, the, what's that thing called? Uh, solder mask curing device, that's what it's called. And then we've got here, we've got my little vice clamp thing. That's just a little pot that I sometimes put, I don't know, IPA in or white vinegar. We've got my recording camera there, my screen so I can see what on earth is going on. Up here we've got the thermal cam in here. And that is the Huipar HTI 80P. I like this little thing, it's great. I've uh, got some power banks at the back. We've also got my little component tester here, which is a T7, apparently. No idea. Then we've got my desoldering gun that goes moo, which is a Jura tool something or other. Uh, moving down, we've got my Hakko FX951, which is the soldering iron that I use. Nice little compact thing. This thing. That's the gun for the desoldering thing that goes moo. Some solder tip, what's it called? Stuff. Oh, it's really hard to do this. And then at the back, we've got some Mr. Sheen, obviously, some white vinegar. We've got one of those helping hand things inside here, which is one of those Helix uh, sort of pencil holder things that you used to get at school. I've got some needle nose pliers, some flush cutters. What are they? Uh, just cable ties. Got my magic eraser pencil thing. Some more screwdrivers, pens. Uh, some thermal paste, some MX4. Then this is the solder that I like to use. It is multi-core Ursin 6040 tin lead, 0.7 millimeters. It's great this stuff, but I am running a bit low on it, unfortunately. And this is the wick that I also like to use. Super wick. MG Chemicals, fine braid. And then we've got some wire. Some enameled wire, that's not enameled. Uh, whatever they are. Oh, they're little track things, aren't they, for rebuilding tracks. I very rarely use those because I find them a little bit fiddly. Uh, the back, we've got my fume extractor. Fume extractor, that's what it's called. Then we've got another one of these wonderful pencil holder things with some scissors. This is the flux that I use. It's chip quick SMD. Why is it upside down? Chipquick SMD291. We've got some Mechanic UV Mask. I've got a green one, I've got a blue one. I think I've also got a red one somewhere. Uh, that's one of those SMD rulers. Exacto knife. A few little spatula things. Some uh, Mollycott grease. Some low melt solder. A pencil sharpener, obviously some exacto knife blades and various other things nice there's dave by the way and at the back here we've got some of these box all things which are very very useful 
Uh, I think that's a new one that someone bought for me, but apologies, I don't know where the gift receipt is. But thank you, whoever bought this for me, if I can open it. There we go, this one's got very small little compartments in it for putting lots and lots of little things in, which is great. These are the ones that I have got some stuff in. Oop. Obviously it's upside down. I've got some chips, I've got some crystals, some voltage regulators. I do need to finish labeling all these. I've got some more stuff up there. So yeah, and then we've got some paper wipes, which I, I like these because they're sort of lint free. They're uh, what they're called. Ready wipes dry, soup deluxe. Anyway, yeah, they're good. And finally, I think, my Anden Star AD407, which even though I've been sent a newer microscope by Anden Star, I still prefer this one. Mainly because I can record audio on it and it helps me to sync up when I'm editing, which is, uh, which is nice. I have got some other stuff up here. I've got, if I can get the lighting right, I've got more sort of spares in these boxes. Little, got some more solder wick in there, various other bits. Got some more over on this side. Nice. And then we've got my little capacitor and resistor books. So I've got 0402, 0603, 0805, 1206. They've got loads of different sort of uh, values in them. Oh, I almost forgot. The mat in the middle. I'm starting with a mat in the middle. Sorry, I had to do that joke again. And aside from that, we've got my recording lights, uh, camera, microphones, etc. If anyone's interested in any of that stuff, I'll do a separate video on that, because obviously it's not for everyone. And then I do my editing here on this wonderful PC. Well, it's not wonderful, but it's a PC. That's what I record my songs on. <laughs> so everyone probably hates that microphone. And that's about it. The rest of the room is just all the rubbish you see in the background. I haven't updated that, need to uh, need to add a few more days onto that. Oh, what's that? Uh, yeah, just various bits and pieces. Then on the floor we've got... That's uh, an Amazon return box, which I'm quite looking forward to doing. I've got a few more bits in there. I don't, I don't even know, A500 Mini, which I've already done a video on. Uh, not done anything with that Tomitronic yet. And then underneath here I've got a load more stuff waiting to go. More boxes, eBay rubbish, and a lot of it is in the loft. So I have a huge backlog of things to do. Yeah. So there we go. That's where the magic happens. That's what you're supposed to say, isn't it? Difference gonna make it right.